new cat every week on this channel now. This is Jace. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you everyone who put up with the ambient sounds of the outside last week. Today I come to you inside an actual house with walls. If you don't know me, my name is Nina. I'm a Western tropical astrologer who has been studying astrology since 2014 and reading professionally since 2017. And today I am back at it with the Midheaven series. And we are now at Scorpio Midheaven and Taurus IC. I find it really important to understand the IC in order to interpret the Midheaven. If you want to know a little bit more about how I interpret the Midheaven, I have a video all about that introducing this series, as well as a video on all of the major aspects that you can have to your Midheaven. And I definitely recommend checking that out for a more nuanced look at your Midheaven rather than just the sign. And if you want an even more nuanced look at your Midheaven and your whole chart, you can book a reading with me at ninabastrology.com. But enough of that, let's get into the specifics of the Scorpio Midheaven Taurus IC. Scorpio is a really interesting archetype to me. It seems to be built of a lot of contradictions because as Scorpio is the opposite of Taurus and Taurus has everything to do with security, Scorpio naturally has to do with insecurity in a lot of ways. However, Scorpio also has to do a lot with personal power. Scorpio is a fixed sign, but it has to do with deep change and transformation, incredible upsets, the rug being pulled out from under you. Scorpio is so secretive and yet Scorpio has everything to do with sharing, truly with intimacy, with vulnerability. So how do you balance all of these things into one archetype? Well, I always say with everyone, with my clients, that believe it or not, no matter how many contradictions that you have in your birth chart or even within a placement within a sign, it all manages to make sense because we are incredibly contradictory creatures at the end of the day anyway. Nobody makes 100% by the book sense. So let's tackle these contradictions and see how they can manifest themselves in your public persona as a Scorpio Midheaven. So the first thing is insecurity versus power. It is arguable, and I definitely believe, that through incredible vulnerability and positions in which we can feel insecure is where we find the most power. Once we're able to overcome our fears, face our biggest demons, that's when we can become the most powerful. And Scorpio has to do with change, with transformation, with, again, that rug being pulled out from under you feeling, and yet it's a fixed sign. And that is because Scorpio will not change unless that change is dramatic. That's why Scorpio rules that really dramatic change. If you take something like Cancer or Pisces, the other two water signs that have a lot to do with change, Pisces being mutable, Cancer being ruled by the moon, the fastest moving planet slash luminary, you see that the change in them is somewhat constant. That Cancer uh, roller coaster of emotions is somewhat constant, speaking from experience as a Cancer rising. <laughs> but that Scorpio change is that tower moment, everything crumbling, everything getting destroyed. Hi. <laughs> and so that's how Scorpio manages to be a fixed sign and still rule change and transformation because that change and transformation is always dramatic. And similarly, power comes through there. Change and transformation can be something that is incredibly vulnerable, incredibly sensitizing. And so again, 
Once you're put into these insecure, vulnerable positions, that's when you get face to face with how powerful you really are. And then the other contradiction was this secretive nature and this vulnerability. Scorpios are known to be mysterious and you can't really know what's going on with just the surface. And yet Scorpio has everything to do with intimacy, with vulnerability, with cracking itself open. However, intimacy to Scorpio is really a one-on-one -on -one thing. It's very secretive because it's looking for that deep soul chemical spiritual connection in order to be able to be vulnerable. Scorpio also wants to be vulnerable in the sense of getting from other people, getting vulnerability from other people, receiving intimacy from other people. If it's unbalanced, Scorpio energy can be too take, take, take. But the idea is that Scorpio wants to get into the position where there is no place where they end and their partner begins, their partner being whoever they want to be intimate with. And intimate, not just meaning sexual intimacy, but emotional intimacy as well. So that was a bit of a ramble on the Scorpio archetype. Uh, just because I want to be able to clarify a bit more of where I'm coming from with these interpretations of the Scorpio Midheaven. What's interesting about the Scorpio Midheaven is that the Midheaven is the public persona. It's what you're sharing of yourself to the broader world. It's the status, the reputation that you develop and step into. And there's this side of Scorpio that doesn't like to feel separate. There's this side of Scorpio that wants to lose themselves in a relationship and especially be intimate on a one-on-one -on -one level. So it's interesting to put that kind of archetype on blast as your public persona. But let's backtrack a little bit and get into the Taurus IC. The Taurus IC is really a very promising position to have. If you think about it, the IC, the fourth house, is ruled by Cancer and Cancer is ruled by the moon and the Taurus moon is considered exalted, meaning the Taurus moon is considered to be the best place to have your moon. So having Taurus on the IC is also a very promising placement to have because when we think about home, which is what the fourth house, the IC is, we often associate it with something physical, physical security. We need money to have the home of our dreams is typically what we think. Even though in its domicile, you know, the idea of home being cancer, it really just means that your emotional needs are met. And it really means that you feel comforted and secure and you feel the sense of sanctuary, kind of independent of what physically is going on in your home. Having Taurus on the IC, having your home life represented by Taurus is really promising in the physical sense. And the Taurus IC speaks to having your physical needs met and feeling a sense of safety and security and having your needs met very practically. And when you have that stable sense of security and a dependable sense of comfort, likely coming from the way that your family raised you and the opportunities that you had in your family to be secure and stemming into your own relationship to your sense of comfort and safety, it's a really promising foundation, at least on its own. Own, you know, as long as you don't have Mars in there or other malefics or things going on. And the idea with that Scorpio midheaven opposing that Taurus I see is that with this sense of a strong, stable foundation, you are able to put yourself out there. You feel safe enough in yourself that you can be vulnerable on a public level. Anywhere that you have Scorpio in your chart, any house that it rules will demonstrate 
a part of your chart that you experience a lot of emotional turbulence, but also emotional excitement and where you feel empowered to express your vulnerability, whether that's in the seventh house and you do that one-on-one -on -one in relationships, or if it's in the mid heaven and you step into this public persona of someone who is empowered and vulnerable at the same time. And listen, in your career, you might go through trials and tribulations, betrayals, you might be overly sexualized or satisfyingly sexualized <laughs> in your career, but in your career, you also have the opportunity to express your pain and your vulnerability in a really empowering way. Scorpio is considered to be this archetype of immense intimacy and a lot of times that's seen as something that is kept behind closed doors, but with a Scorpio midheaven, that's what makes you so attractive and powerful is that you're able to portray this substance and these themes that are usually kept behind closed doors and weave them into your public persona, which also can make you very controversial. When you put yourself out there in such a vulnerable way, you're likely not going to please everyone, either because people can be upset with the way that you handle your feelings, can be upset with just you expressing your feelings, can be upset with you expressing your sexuality. That's another thing that Scorpio represents. It's another thing that is usually kept behind closed doors or culturally there's an idea that a lot of sex should be kept behind closed doors. Scorpio is also Mars ruled and Pluto ruled. Mars is sex and violence <laughs> and Pluto is death and destruction. Those are also things that are not necessarily always welcomed with open arms <laughs> and are things that some people will believe that you should keep behind closed doors. You can be aggressive in your public persona, either aggressively honest, aggressively sexual, or aggressively aggressive, <laughs> um, intense. That's why Scorpio anything has the reputation of creating a love-hate relationship. Whether people love to hate you or hate to love you, or people either love or either hate you, it's an intense public persona to step into. And because of that, you're gonna get intense reactions, especially when it is ruling your midheaven because it's kind of how you're branding yourself, right? And here's the thing, like anything Scorpio is a difficult thing to go through. Nothing about Scorpio is a walk in the park. And the only reason that you're able as a Scorpio midheaven to step into this difficult position in your career or in your public persona is because you feel strong enough and stable enough in yourself. You know, with that Taurus I see, the person that you come home to at night is you and no one can change that. That's the other thing, these fixed signs on the midheaven, no one can change your relationship with yourself, your authentic self. You can deal with either the hot and cold reactions that you have from others, the controversy that might surround you. Even if not at first, you can eventually, through going through that, you feel more empowered because you feel like if I can put up with that, if I can put up with this much controversy, and still have my Taurus I see and still, you know, feel that I have such a strong relationship with myself that no one could get in the way of, then you've conquered it. You've conquered the fear that Scorpio represents. 
getting into some more practicalities. I know that people like In These Mid Heaven videos to hear kind of like what they could do as a career. Honestly, I think that the Mid Heaven is just one small part of what can speak to your kind of trajectory, career trajectory. And I think that more than anything, the Scorpio Midheaven will indicate that you might have trials and tribulations in the way that people view your public persona, but that through those trials and tribulations, you will step further and further into your power, no matter what kind of career field that happens to be in. That being said, I definitely see the potential for people to do something that very much involves their personal life, like a singer, songwriter, I definitely think of where you're really drawing from your personal experience. Um, or something that involves your sexuality. Or I honestly think of like Scorpio Midheaven as kind of like that mob boss because it is kind of like doing violence and secrecy in your public persona. Um, that's just an example. Um, it doesn't mean that if you have a Scorpio Midheaven that you're going to have a violent career, but you might be, you know, um, a security guard or something of that nature that uses their force and intimidation as part of their career. But again, there's just so many career avenues that you can go down in which you're either very deeply personal in your public persona or you're somewhat intimidating in your public persona or you're overtly sexual in your public persona or you're for some reason somewhat controversial and intense in the way that you come off in your public persona. The power that's associated with Scorpio when translated to the Midheaven could mean, you know, uh, stepping into a career uh, that is somewhat power hungry, like politics or some kind of fame, or that power that Scorpio represents when put into that midheaven position it could just mean that you acquire a status of power in a number of other fields. You can be the most powerful person at the paper company. You could be the most powerful teacher in the school. You could be a therapist. Scorpios are the natural psychologists. It's very much about getting intimate with the human psyche. That's also the thing with um, Scorpio midheavens is that I keep on saying that they can be like somewhat controversial, but really it's just that they have this really intense presence and this intensity can make people either feel extremely put off, extremely attracted, or even extremely comfortable with that energy. And that comfort is probably coming from, you know, feeling like finally this person is embodying all of these taboo things that are usually kept behind closed doors that I am longing to see modeled in a person. That's why I also think of like psychologists, like they're wearing vulnerability and power through vulnerability in their midheaven. So someone who is feeling extremely vulnerable and insecure and emotionally distraught is going to be attracted and feel safe to that energy. People who long for intensity are gonna feel attracted to this energy in a different way. People who are scared of the things that are usually kept behind closed doors are going to have more negative reactions to Scorpio midheavens, are gonna be intimidated by them, are gonna maybe even feel repulsed by them. But again, the thesis of this whole thing is that at the end of the day, no matter what other people think of you, you have a strong foundation in your relationship with yourself, who you come home to at night, who you are when you take off your bra and put on your sweatpants with that Taurus 
on the fourth house cusp. And I think that's all I have to say today about the Scorpio Midheaven. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm not in my usual setup. I'm not necessarily fully in my work mode. So this um, <laughs> video might have been a little bit more rambly. So please let me know if you enjoyed it because I'm a little bit more insecure about it. And because it's the Scorpio Midheaven video, I'm going to be upfront about how I'm feeling a little bit more insecure about it. So yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this video with a thumbs up or more detailed thoughts in the comments below. Again, if you would like to book a reading with me, you can go to ninabastrology.com. And if you enjoy what I do and would like to support me and also get a little something something in return, you can check out my merch at ninabastrology.com slash shop. In fact, I'm wearing one of the styles today um but there's much more to be seen um on my website but yeah that's all for me for today i hope that you have a great rest of your day or night and i hope to talk to you very very soon thanks for watching bye